Dude, this week has been insane on Twitter. Like, it has been absolutely unreal. Because, like, you, you have, like, Corpse Husband and Machine Gun Kelly will release a collaborative single, Daywalker, on Friday. That's today. And some other stuff happened, too. Papa John in hot water again, Burger King a misogynist for the first time ever, and more coming up on tonight's edition of Coney Nightly News. Fellas, today is March 9th, 2021. This is Twitch.tv's Coney Nightly News with Coney ZZ. It's just Coney. It's not Coney ZZ, but thank you. Uh, that was close enough. I had to turn off Slack. I'm getting a lot of big news updates, so I have to turn that off. Okay. Welcome, fellas, to Coney Nightly News, where you hear the hottest news from all over the internet, and we've got the first story coming up right now. Papa John is back in hot water. That's right. Ex-CEO of Papa John, John Schnatter, is in hot water yesterday after some rather puzzling comments made during an interview. Papa John, shown here after a particularly revelrous shareholders meeting, had some strange things to say uh, during a 2018 conference call where he dropped the N-bomb multiple times. When asked in an interview about his response to the conflict, he had this to say. Again, we have a public board that paints its chairman uh, complicit, passive, or active. They paint the founder as a racist. They know he's not a racist. It's just unbelievable. And I used to lay in bed just going, how did they do this? And we've had three goals for the last 20 months to get rid of this uh, N-word uh, in my uh, vocabulary and dictionary and everything else. Uh, because it's just not true. Figure out how they did this and get on with my life. 20 months. 20 months to get the M word out of it. I, I, I know a lot of Twitch streamers who have taken much longer, so I get it. But the CEO of a company, that's rather surprising. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. John Schnatter also once famously remarked that he ate... I don't know, 30 pizzas in 15 days? I'm not looking it up. It was a lot of pizzas in, in very few days. The man is insane. I don't know. I think it's kind of crazy that he would do that. Because I, I, I don't know where he's from, but I feel like it should be able to, as he should be able to not do that quicker. I don't know. The only N word I want to hear out of Papa John's mouth is N ingredients. Now let's go ahead and go to the experts and see what they think. I've got my experts on the line right here. Experts! Is this based or cringe? What do you think? What did Papa mean when he say th said this? Looks like a lot of people saying cringe. Now keep in mind, if you watch the clip, he said he wanted it out of his vocabulary, and I think it was very clear he didn't mean exactly that. But I, I think, I, I, you know, I think it's still a little... Okay, it's see, okay, the experts... The ex oh, it's cringe. It's cringe. Okay, hold on. Let's just, let's just, let me, hold on. Let's, let me make sure, uh, that, that we're, okay, yeah, yeah, it's cringe. It's cringe. Number go up. Yep. Extremely cringe. Uh, I would, I would have to agree, Papa, uh, I, I, you gotta use a little bit more, uh, discretion in your word choice in the future. Um, I don't. I don't know what to tell him. Kind of a weird day uh, for Papa John. Our next story, Burger King again, found itself- a public board that paint It's a pilot. Okay. Burger King found itself in a Twitter firestorm yesterday after a series of ill-advised tweets. In celebration of International Women's Day, Burger King had this to say. Women belong in the kitchen. Hmm. Rather suspicious and not something becoming of a large company. They immediately followed with this. If they want to, of course. Yet only 20% of chefs are women. We're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career. Now, many Twitter users were critical of the tweets. Obviously, right? Them doing this on International Women's Day. It did garner them a lot of attention and press. And ultimately, it was for a female, some kind of sponsorship or a program or something like that. I don't know. It's the UK. I don't really pay attention to them. But I will say, I think that the blame for this gaffe falls squarely on one delightful little redhead shoulders. And it's this chick. This is your fault. You did this. 
I don't know why brands have to do this anymore. This weird, iconic, like, I, why do they have to act like this? You don't have to be cool. Just give me my goddamn burger. You know? She's so mean. What did I... I, people on Twitter didn't even do anything. Relax. You make good food sometimes. Just do that, you know? Shut up and make a burger. That's all I have to say. Why do brands have to be ironic? It's just, it, it seems like too much. But, of course, that's only my opinion. Now we're going to turn it over to the experts and see what they think. Fellas, what do we think about Burger King? Burger King thinks women should be in the kitchen? What do you think? No. Wait. Base King? Burger Cringe? It looks like... Yeah, it's... It's cringe. Okay. Alright, it's... It's cringe again. It's cringe again. Okay. Alright. You know, they did get a lot of attention. They did get a lot of... They got... The ads did a lot. A lot of people saw it. I saw people saying that they were so excited that they saw Burger King on the news. And then they, you know, they were like, I want to go to Burger King. Which is a little weird to say in response to that. But I guess it's, it's you know, it's whatever gets you in front of eyeballs. I'm sure it was trending. So, they had print ads with it. No, they didn't. They put that in the news? Oh my god. Dear god. That's awful. What are they doing? It's a full marketing campaign. Oh shit, I would hate to be that guy. I would hate to be that guy. On International Women's Day, getting fired on into what if it was a woman that did it? Well, uh, Burger King, I, I hope they can they can res come back from this. It um it's been it's been tough for them lately, but you know what can you do? Oh wait, I'm just getting news. We I okay, I'll fix that in the future. I'm just getting news. Wait, we actually have a breakthrough in Dream SMP, one of their biggest streamers. This is a shocking development. Tommy Innit, who is currently resting in his bed over in the UK. He's asleep right now, and he actually uttered the word tractor in his sleep. Yeah, it's trending right now on Twitter. Uh, what this means for the future of Dream SMP appears to be unclear. Technoblade has not yet responded for comment or followed me on Twitter, but I will keep you up to date uh, once we know more. So that's that more developments coming up soon. Um, but that's that's all we have for you right now. So coming up next, our next story is about a plucky little rabbit. Warner Brothers unveiled a new look for Lola Bunny, the iconic heroine hair from the 1990s retros classic. What the fuck? The 1990s retro classic Space Jam. Yeah. So this is her here. This is her old design along with her new design. And in promotion for Space Jam 2, the company shared several images of the wavishing wabbit interacting with new star LeBron James, as you can see right here. Still looks a little weird, right? Still looks a little strange. Yeah. Many online were frustrated by the change, noting Lola's more homely physique in contrast to her uh, retro counterpart, including this guy. Look at that guy. Oh my god. That's so many Lolas? That's one of four. And he got married. Which is like... Good for him, I guess. There's someone out there for anybody. You know, like, what's your excuse? You know? Good god. That is so many rabbits. Yeah. So a lot of people are upset about Lola Bunny. A lot of people saying that people are triggered. SJWs, you got to deal with it. Stop crying. There are a lot of different takes on this. I have but one question for you. Fellas, would you fuck... Yeah. Yeah, no, too far. Too far. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Um, my bad. I won't do it again. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Um, uh, we'll skip that one. Okay, and our final, final piece for tonight, the final headline 
uh, for tonight is actually going to be about one of your favorite streamers and mine. That's right. The content goblin himself. The content goblin himself, known only as XQC, has once again taken criticism from his peers, this time for his conduct during some Grand Theft Auto 5 online RP streams. And look at him. He is none too pleased about it. What a, what a, a dynamo of energy. The little firecracker. Look at him go. XQC has been lambasted for his actions on these streams, which include taking part in over 30 felonies. Or something. They were like robbing a bank. I don't know. I was watching the, um, I, I, like, watched a little bit of it, and they robbed a bank, and then they had to, like, be, uh, like, they had to go through the cop thing. He had to go to jail in the video game. So I went around to a couple other, uh, streams, and I tried to figure out what was going on, and I found actually popular stream and ha streamer Hassan, uh, had this to say. At server rules, we both know you'll get a lot of leeway for obvious reasons, but don't say I'm making you a villain, especially when I've been somewhat cordial about it. Also, it's not the end of the world between us, because I know you're a good person, but you do turn into the content golem when you're playing stuff like this. Listen, I have ADHD and hate losing too, especially in front of idiots in chat who think losing game equals loser IRL. It's like a muscle you gotta train to take L's for content, and it comes from the true confidence to be able to do so. And I don't have that either, so I understand. Ultimately, the robbery wasn't that big of a deal in comparison to the aftermath. We've that's known each other for years now. I know you're a good person, but most people have limited interactions with you through games. So when you treat them like NPCs, when you're the biggest streamer on the platform, so it makes you come across like a bully. I don't think you ever want to be like that, yeah. right? If I can get out the boat, baby. See. That's what I fucking said. That's literally what I said to him after he said, did you try to villainize me by saying I broke the rules when you tried to rob me? Dude, you're fucking delusional. Get help at 5.19 a.m. Um, what happened? I don't know. They, I thought you stole cars in that game. I thought it was called GTA for that, uh, reason. Like, I thought the whole game was about stealing cars. But, like, they were on a boat and, like, talking to each other. And I don't, like, I don't, do you guys know? Do you know what happened there? Does anybody know what's happening on Twitch? I felt bad, you know, because I'm supposed to know. This is my job. Um, but I looked at it, and it took a long time. And I was like, this takes too long. So I heard the words, uh, content golem. And then I laughed at that because I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, but that was the last of the research that I did. So, yeah. It was uh, quite a story. Thank you for tuning in to Coney Nightly News. We'll be back with more news whenever it happens. My name is Coney ZZ, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching Twitch.tv's Coney Nightly News with Coney ZZ. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see more Coney content.